example, and it's called AITA for choosing my budget over my boyfriend this Halloween. I need some perspective here. This whole thing is so out of control. I, 28F, own my house, and my boyfriend, 29M, moved into my house in January. We had a ton of early money arguments and agreed that we would keep to a household budget. Also, he agreed to pay down his credit card debt. I have more flexibility in my personal spending than he does. Early after we moved in, my boyfriend told me that as a kid, he always wanted to live in one of those houses that were totally decorated for trick-or-treaters and handed out those full-size candy bars. Here is where I messed up. I took this as a comment and not a plan. When the end of September came, we went to the Halloween store and he was under the impression we had savings for this. I didn't know. We go over the monthly budget together and it was never listed. When he found out that there was no Halloween savings, we had an argument. Afterwards, I talked to his friends who all said he had talked about trick-or-treating extensively and how much it meant to him. I shocked this up to a misunderstanding on my part, so I came up with $500 of my own money and went to him with an apology. He decided to buy one big piece, an animatronic clown and some lights. It burned through the $500, plus he put a little on his own credit card. He wanted another big piece and was mad that I wouldn't put it on my own credit card. <laughs> I asked if he wanted to put up handmade decorations or spider webs, but he said no because it would look cheap. A few weeks later, we had a fight over candy. He was still stuck on buying full-size candy bars. We easily get over 250 trick-or-treaters, and I said we just don't have that much money. So we got the bulk bags of goods, small bars. I also had these little coloring books for the allergy and diabetes kids. Jump forward to Halloween. Early kids show up and he's letting them grab handfuls. I remind him we have a ton of trick-or-treaters coming and he got really annoyed. I had ordered a pizza for us, so I get it and I go inside for about 10 minutes. By the time I came back out, the trick-or-treat bowls were completely empty. He had been dumping Wait. a third of each bowl in each kid's bag. Wait, what, what Wait, is that? How, uh, how long did it take? 10 minutes. She, so OP went inside for 10 minutes to go grab the pizza and take it back in, was gone for 10 minutes total. And by the time OP came back, the boyfriend had completely used all of the, all of the candy. Um, I got oh a couple that God. says how, wait, I got a, I, I got a comment that says how old is the couple? They are 28 and 29. OP is 28 and the boyfriend is 29 years old. Um, so OP comes back after 10 minutes and there is no more candy because the boyfriend has been dumping a third of the bowl in each kid's bag. And he also gave out all of the coloring books to any kids coming along. He told me that he'd have to go and run out and buy more candy on my credit card. I said I wasn't going to do that, and it wasn't my fault. He just handed out 20 pounds of candy. He started yelling right there in front of the kids, and I told him to come inside. He responded that he wasn't stopping trick-or-treating, even if there was no candy. I told him to have fun with the clown and went inside. He came in 15 minutes later. Then he demanded that I leave for the night so he could clear his head. He argued it was fair because I'd already eaten and it was my fault the trick-or-treaters experience was ruined because I'm cheap. I handed the rest of the pizza to him and refused. He left and went to a friend's house and I guess they spent the rest of the night drinking, hanging out, handing out candy, and texting me how awful and cheap I am. Am I the asshole? 